and welcome back to Lair. I'm Sulk and here to bring you our next build video. This build is actually going to be something for Crash City. I know I haven't done anything for the city in a while because we've been going on a little bit of well, remodeling with rearranging the track and just putting everything back into place. So we kind of have that finally all up and running to a certain degree, but we kind of noticed we need something for a centerpiece because right now there's a big chunk in the center that kind of has nothing really there. So we figured let's add a nice centerpiece to it and it will be our own very little Chinatown district. This is made by Panlos Bricks, Panlos, I'm gonna get butchering names. And this is kit number 610010, rated for six plus with 2,616 pieces. This is gonna be a modular building and I'm not really too familiar with the whole alternative bricks modular builds because I haven't really built too many of them. I normally leave that for Hulk but I'm going to be taking a crack at this one. Not really too sure what to expect. Hopefully everything goes well. And looks like it is either a restaurant or a bar. So it'd be a nice first piece on our little centerpiece fixture. And can't wait to get started and let's get into it. Starting things off with the box. You see the nice little module building here front and center with a little bit of minifigures around just to add a little bit of life. Based on the picture here, it looks like it comes with four little minifigures. Hopefully they fit the tiles properly like the rest of the actual Lego, like the official Lego ones. And you see here's a picture is that it has a bunch of other different structures which all put together to form a nice little center square. Well, like, like a, a Chinatown. And we do have the rest of the line, so stick with us and you'll see us go through all of them. Going to the sides of the box, you pretty much see a little minifigure, another picture of the completed building, and kit number. Other side pretty much matches. On the bottom though, it shows actual dimensions of the uh, piece, which looks like 26 centimeters by 27.5, and stands about 25 centimeters tall. Hopefully it fits on a single mills plate, but again, not really too sure what to expect with these. On the back of the box, you see it is modular, so first, second floor, and the roof. And a little bit of pictures of what goes on inside. Looks like seating arrangements, balcony, front of the bar or restaurant, what do you want to call it. And looks like more seating. I'm not too, again, really not too sure what to expect. Hopefully these are all printed pieces, not stickers. But again, famous last words. Looking inside, looks like a lot of portraits. And again, looks, a lot, looks like a lot of action going around inside. Well, let's crack her open. Starting things off with the book. It's a nice thick book, really nice and sturdy. It pretty much jumps right into the instructions and has about 104 page instructions and 430 steps. So that's going to be pretty fun. Not too sure what these little wood pieces are for. Looks like it's for, I don't know, shutters, I guess, for the outside where um, people sit around outside. I haven't put these together yet. Looks like it actually comes with cloth banners. You can't really see it much on camera here. But yeah, that's a nice little touch. Again, nice small sticker sheet. So hopefully not too many stickers I gotta put on. We are gonna be replacing this uh, plate with a proper Mills plate here. So it'll fit into our city. Nice. I'm a little worried about this because I can see, again, there's really only labeled bags one and two. But if you look closely inside, all the bags are individually labeled. So hopefully, and it's an easier build process. Well, again, I'm not too sure what to really expect of it. Hopefully everything goes together properly, no warpage. And yeah, pretty excited to build it because it is going to be my first alternative bricks building. Hopefully, again, I'm going to ballpark, I get 2,600 pieces. Hopefully everything is properly labeled. Hopefully it takes... A good amount of time, only not too long, not too short, but let's get started.
And here we have the finished uh, piece in all its glory. So thank you Google Translate because now I know that means bar. So we know this is actually confirmed a restaurant or bar. So going to the front of it, let's just do a, you see a little gate here and a nice little barrel beside it and a nice special flag. This is actually a cloth piece here that just is held on by two pegs and is wrought here. If you actually seen the video, let me get into it right away. I actually have to use weights because um, to kind of slam this little peg in between properly through because the paint tolerances are so thick that it doesn't actually go smoothly by hand. So you will see that in the video in case you're wondering what I was doing at that point. Going to the side here, you have the outside of the bar with these little nice little wooden pieces here to act as the, the shades. You will get a close up once I take the roof off. And you can see there's a lot of lanterns around here that really capture the whole Asian aesthetic of this piece. Since it is actually one out of many different uh, Chinatown pieces, there's really not much detail on the sides here, or you know, even really the back. Except you got these little two, two windows. So that takes us back to the front. And as we go up to the second floor into the roof, that's when I'm going to start taking it off so we get a close look inside. So I'm going to probably take the roof off and you can see all the detail on it. So you have all of these little um, pieces here that really capture the whole bamboo shingle aesthetic of most old Chinese buildings and pretty much the roof structure they have. On the side, again, all four corners, little lanterns. Yeah, they just do a very good job of putting this together. You want to see on the inside what the structure looks like. Pretty sturdy, but you can't really rest it on anything, so you kind of have to rest it upside down if you ever take this off. Because there's no real flat surfaces, and it doesn't really rest well on these lanterns. Believe me, I tried. So moving on to the second floor. I'm going to pop this off here. So it's really easy to come apart, so that's a good thing. And also, everything actually inside holds together very well. So you have the uh, second floor of the restaurant. All these nice little dishes, little uh, jars of alcohol and potted plant here. Random bird just perched over here. And you have this little shrine, kind of, with the uh, what Chinese currency tails, I can't remember what they're called. But yeah. Yeah, some gold ingot or gold and silver ingots. yeah, so gold and silver ingots, ingots, how you pronounce it. So that is your second floor. Also has a nice little wooden shade here. Be careful when putting this on because these pegs do swivel a bit. And when I did put it on originally, it wouldn't go flush. And I did a little bit of damage, but you can't really see it because this is in the way. The one thing I don't like about it is they could have just easily found a brown one to match, you know, the rest of the colors. But for some reason, they gave me a blue one. And here we are. Going into the main floor of the restaurant. I'm just going to tilt this a little bit. You have all these little portraits that go up the stairs. You have the main counter there, so you can see a little actual little ingot there. And an abacus on the counter. Nice little touch of detail. On the other side, you have pretty much all the jars of booze in the back. Nice little pen to what do your accounting. And you have the main door, which can open and close. Maybe it opens on the inside, but really different tolerances on it, so it's actually pretty hard to open and close, so I'm just gonna leave it closed. Nice little de decorations on the wall there. Also, a nice little touch of detail is they actually have a little shrine for a place of worship and right in the front or on the side of the building. So that takes us around. So moving on to the balcony. You see two nice tables outside with just little seating areas. And this pops off itself and exposes inside 
where all the shingles are. Not really under much detail other than just seal, regular seating arrangements, but again, it's not that busy, but everything they that they actually put into there serves some kind of purpose. So it's a really good, <coughs> excuse me. I find it just a, a really nice touch of detail that they had that they added onto it. So that concludes the close-ups, and let's move on to the rest of the review. And we're back. This piece took about five and a half hours, give or take, to finally complete. And took a little bit longer than my initial estimate of how long it would take. But then again, it's been quite some time since I built my last building. And I'm pretty sure all of them were roughly around the same time. First thing I want to say is I love the look of this. Because if you watch any old like period piece Chinese movies, you would literally see buildings like this just everywhere. Especially with like the nice bamboo shingles, the I guess all the wooden outside. Like again, it just fits the uh, again the whole Chinatown motif that we're going for. Uh, let's get to the good parts of it. Is what I love most about this thing so far is that it comes to these little extra pieces that I haven't seen yet. These little cloth banners and these actual um, I guess little cuts of wood to. Kind of demonstrate the the shades and this door here. This is the first time I've seen it and put it together. I wasn't know, really know what to expect, but it went together fairly well for the most part. But I'll get into that later. Another thing I love is this roof. Again, just because of how well it went together and how nice it looks. You see in the close-ups when I really get into it, but it just captures again. It looks like it just came out from a, like a Lego old-timey Chinese movie. I love how it puts together, but again, this is the first one out of, let's just say, five or six. We'll see how much I love it by the end of the day. But present moment, love how it all went. Cool little thing about the second floor is that everything was put together. Instead of just stacking the tiles going straight vertically, everything was actually, you had to put the outside four outside posts first. And everything went horizontally, which is the first time building a building like this that kind of went that way. Another thing that I love is that even though there's so much detail inside inside all the rooms or inside the floors, it's actually not that busy. Like it does, it's not overwhelming where it just just shoving things in for the sake of it. Everything seems to have a, pit, uh, have a has a place to go to. So you have the tables on the main floor. You have again the counter, the advocates, or you know, things like that. And when you go to the actual outside patio, same thing. It's just nice and, like again, everything just goes together. So, uh, it just fits it so well. Also, the outside door here, uh, well, the gate goes together really nicely. And it just looks like a fantastic piece. And can't wait to actually build the rest of them now. So let's get in. That's all the good. Going into the bad parts of it. It's this little outside... Again, I would just call it a patio, but the part that goes like from the restaurant to the bar, to the outside seating area, it nicely put it was ridiculously flimsy, and that's the nicest way I could put it. Because when you are putting together every single post, because it's just uh, five, well, five or six separate posts that go together with just some connecting rods that go in between, and it's not the sturdiest thing in the world. So I guess when you have hands like mine and trying to put anything together it almost explodes half the time when you're trying to push anything like again when you're trying to assemble it it just explodes in your hand and it doesn't actually get sturdy until you mount it onto its uh, the base plate but then later on in the instructions we actually had to add these shades you're we trying to put these pegs into these uh into these snot tiles onto the top here you put any type of pressure on it it will explode again. So you gotta disassemble everything, take it apart, and when you're trying to put it in, it's just, it all just falls apart. I just wish that 
if you if you were gonna put these on, it would tell you right away when you're in the initial assembly step to put them on then, so you have to worry about later. But I guess it is a aesthetic choice whether you want these shades on or not. But since I decided to put them on, that's kind of what I had to go through. But other than that, like that's really my only major complaints about this. Anything goes together. Like I was a little bit worried about Warpage, and again with these alternative bricks, you don't know really what to expect. But since this is a modular building, anything just went together very well. And my minus a minor hiccup here, all good. So I would say if you do have the rest of this set, like I do. Or that the club uh, that our like our channel does, it would actually. I can't wait to see how it fits all into the city, and can't wait to see what all, what all the rest of the buildings will look like all put all together. So s stick with us in the channel, and you will actually see us slowly building these and slowly assembling it into our little centerpiece of our crash city, and we'll have our own little Chinatown district. So can't wait for that. That just about wraps it up for me today. And again, if you like this kind of content, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and hit that bell notification to keep up to date with all our updates. And leave a comment in this uh, video so we can see what you all think about the build here. Also, please follow us on all social medias. We have our Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok up and running. So shoot us a comment there or leave us a like or watch some of the videos. And also, got to once again plug conquestler.com. That is our website. If you want to see any of our merch or anything like that, give it a check it out. And anything little, every little bit helps support the channel and allows us to create more content. Until next time, I'm Sulk, and have fun building, y'all. Laters.